Um, I think that is very interesting and exciting. I get to do something for my mom that I don't normally do. <laughs> Helping her make whatever this thing is that we're trying to make in here, but it's fun. Um, tell me something about if you wanted a program brought to this program that you wanted to learn about something, what's something you would want to learn? Um, let's see. More about nursing. Like a CPR class? Or? CPR class. That's I went to one a few years back. It was City College, but that was a long time. But that'll be actually more. Keep them straight. I don't matter. Whatever you want to do. I want you to cross your arms. For those who can do sit up, fine. For those who can't, don't try right now. Alright. Don't sit up. And go. Come on as far as you can go. Y'all want me to get out of here. Do what you can. Do what you can. Bend your legs. If you can't do it back, bend your leg. That might be easy. You can do crunches, fine. There it goes. Okay. <laughs> okay, there you go. Very good. Oh, Paul. Go as much as you can. Okay, come all the way up, guys. Come on, what? Come on, Lucha. Let's talk for a second. Sit down. Doesn't matter because we're going to do some push ups in here. So, for those who are struggling with the sit ups, start out with a crunch. Okay? Get a partner. Have them holding your legs, your feet. And you guys trade off. Remember on the list to talk about work out by yourself or with a group? You decide what you need to do. I don't know what you need to do. But if you team up with a partner, be together on this journey, okay? But remember, you want to make sure that your breathing and your form is solid. No matter what exercise you do, you want to make sure you have balance. That's the most important thing, balance, all right? So we're back down to Maggie too, to stand up. Now roll over for push-ups. What are we doing All right, well, there's, there's two types of push-ups you can do. You can either bend your knees. You can either be on your knees. Or you, or you can, can get your feet. Out. Or you can straight out. All right, so I want you to go straight out first, if you can. If not, stay on your knees. All right, give me 10 push-ups. One. Hey, look at that. Two. Hey, look at three, that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Pause. All right. So remember, we're talking, trying to show off, right? Yeah. Trying to show off. I can do 100 pounds of throwing it up like that. Who are you seeing in the gym doing this? I only can do half, but the form is perfect. Mm -hmm. I'm, believe, I'm a believer in form. You don't need the biggest, baddest. Just have the form. I want you to lock your arms in, bend your knees, look in the mirror, and curl up. One, two, twist them. Arnold made these famous by twisting. He claimed by doing a twist, you get the peak in your bicep. Preacher curl, preacher curl, yeah. <laughs> yep. Always keep your chin up, look forward, keep your balance, bend your knees, keep the stress off your knees, elbows tucked in, and curl. Imagine you have 25 pounds in each hand. Imagine you have 50 pounds, whatever that weight is, and pause. Okay, good. This is an exercise that everyone gets wrong. It's triceps. You're going to bend in. Arms going to be here. You're not going to do this. We're not sprinting. We're locking in place. Locking in place. Locking in place. Locking in place. Put your arms back. Now, curl. Extend. Don't extend. You said curl? I mean, I'm going to just say tricep extend. Okay. Now, I'm going to put my hand right here. The key is keep it right here. Now, curl. I'm going to extend. Tricep extend. And this one? Yep. You see, this is your pivot point. It's not moving. You feel right here, don't you? Yeah. Now, I want you to start sprinting like this. You don't feel anything here now, do you? Nope. You got to lock it in position and extend. Like a hangman. Like a hangman. I guarantee you, 
with no weight, if you do a lot of reps, you'll still get development. You're stressing the muscle. What is muscle? And everybody right? know where their tricep is, right? What well, muscle are you trying to build your tricep right? Yeah. 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 What is muscle? How's how muscle created? When you when you do this tension, it rips. But then during the process of healing, it heals and it expands. Exactly, scar tissue. Sixty-two years old, I'm too old for this shit. Now I may not get another chance to come back in. So I'm just trying to, you know, put in this in light. I'm enlightening now because there is a guy that has me here for some reason. Amen. 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 Right here yeah. in the city, being run over. Boom. Oh my God. Mm. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. So bad this shit, okay? Oh. So how much longer is he gonna let me know? You need to be in here to give the message. Yes. And earlier, hey, oh, he don't smile. He, you know what? This is serious business. Because I'd rather be in here than right outside that door. And, I'm, and I'll tell you what happened to me yesterday when I first came here and knocked on that door. Two gentlemen were smoking their crack pipe right outside that door. Wow. Right? So are they not getting to come in? Mm. Right. This is just a reminder. But when I go outside this door once again, shit is right outside that door. Okay. Underneath itself. Um, hi ladies, my name is Greg Ledbetter. Um, I'm also with uh, Tanya Williams uh, group. Um, before I start my story, let me tell you where I'm at now, and then I'll tell you how I got there. Uh, I am currently uh, seated as a, um, a, what they, commissioner on the Behavioral Health Board. Uh, I um, have uh, several different other collectives going on, different organizations that I'm trying to run. I do my own social service outreaches to my friends and colleagues, and um, but it hasn't always been like that. So I'll start with my story. Uh, in 1993, I lost my mom suddenly. Uh, at the time, I did not think things like uh, in, inflicted trauma and depression was something uh, a healthy young man could experience. So I did. Uh, so I just tried to ignore my constant state of feeling hopeless and defeated. I tried to uh, escape by experimenting with drugs. I thought I would make things better. First was alcohol, that if I could stay drunk enough, I could be out of pain. That worked for a minute until the pain I was uh, in, the uh, depressive feeling I experienced, I overused liquor. I decided that pot would uh, do the thing. Well, smoking pot not only made my drinking worse, I realized that I was so tired of feeling depressed that I could become angry what I felt all the time. So, since liquor and weed wasn't become, uh, was becoming less and less effective, helping me in my desperate search for wellness led me to the streets of the Tenderloin and a new drug for me. Uh, that drug was crack cocaine. Well, that plan didn't work neither. Uh, in fact, it made things worse. Uh, in fact, the anger, the sadness, and the thoughts of hopelessly and helplessly made me feel like I should just take a walk, a long walk off a short pier. That addict expression, uh, that that old expression, you are he, uh, you have to realize that something is wrong to in order to understand. So I started to talk honestly with the only one other than God that could help me, my doctor.